What's up everybody? I'm trying to make this a quick video. But I just want to tell you all this, man. I don't give a fuck about all this he said, she said, shit, whatever. When it comes to fucking uh, social media and box, I don't give a fuck. I don't want to hear about what these rappers fucking got to say about these other rappers. I don't want to hear about all these clown ass, snitch ass, motherfucking hardcore gangster rappers. Well, hip hop. I don't give a fuck what you want to call them niggas. I don't want to hear about that shit. I don't want to hear nothing become some fucking lo love and hip hop when it comes to bots. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to fucking hear it. I don't want to hear about all that other bullshit. That's what you want to hear about somebody else's opinion on what happened and stuff like that. When they're not even in there, boots on the ground and hear what happened and live live and fucking in color, then what do you really want? You want a scenario for you can come up over there so you can sit and fucking be entertained about a bunch of bullshit. But you're still going over here and watch box. Some of y'all are the same type of nigga that's going to sit up over here and pay some bullshit ass fucking pay-per-view fight to watch these boxers fight a fucking clown. A fucking clown. That shit out your motherfucking head. That shit out your butt, man. Fuck that shit, man. I'm not with it. You shouldn't be with it. Nobody should be with that dumb ass shit. Turn the motherfucking TV. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Nobody should be with that shit, man. I'm done with all that bullshit, man. And y'all should be too, man. Let's stick, to, let's stick to what's really going on in boxing. Let's stick to these fights that we got coming up. Let's stick to these current events in boxing that we got going up that actually pertain to the things on why we not getting the fights. Why some of these fighters ain't, 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 ain't getting the publicity that they deserve. Why some of these promoters ain't even allowing some of these fights to happen. Why these boxing commissions ain't allowing some of these fights to happen. That's what we need to be talking about. That's what we need to be talking about. You got, we got, yeah, okay. Uh, should we give, should we give these boxing commissions? Oh, sorry. Should we give these boxing organizations? Should we give these b promoters, these managers, and these fighters a pass? Should we give them a pass? For not allowing us the fights that we want. Even during these COVID times. Because before these COVID times, we weren't getting them. Boxing fans, as a whole, were not getting the fights that they deserve. And so, are we supposed to, right? Are we supposed to? Be like, are we supposed to be like, okay, continue on with that, right? Should we be like that? Continue on with not giving us the fights that we deserve. And also, maybe, possibly, make us pay. I think that's enough, okay. Maybe possibly charges pay per view, right? So, like I said, man, y'all, y'all, some of y'all out there, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, you know what? It's, it's, it's at, at the at the grand scheme, it's scheme of things, you know. If that's what you choose to do, you know. I'm not mad at you. But at the end of the day, we should do better. As boxing fans, we should do better. And I think the better that we do should detail of keeping it to where these guys um, do right by us at, at, at all aspects. Because that ain't been happening. That ain't been happening. I think I think we need to make sure that these dudes 
Fuck the Poly Mods 90 shit. Fuck all that shit. Because that shit might not even be exactly what it is. You know, you know what I'm saying? I got some other shit to say about that shit. And, and I know that for sure motherfuckers ain't going to like that shit. But there's two sides to every story and stuff like that. I might not know all the facts and the details to that. But like I said, there's two sides to every story. But I'm going to give people my opinion on what I think with that Pauli Maginati shit. Because you can't just keep everything one way. See what I'm saying? Whether that is, 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 is Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, whatever it is. Everything ain't one fucking way. There's always two sides to every story on why shit didn't go down the way it is. Yeah, somebody could always be at fault, but we we as boxing fans that and, and, and people out here that make content and stuff like that, we have to give both sides of the story and our opinion on the reasoning why we think that things went down the way it did. Not just sit up over here and say, oh, it was this, and and start pointing the finger, oh, 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 over and over again. No, man. We can do that to the to the to the wheels fall off. We can we can keep doing that shit to the wheels fall off. But guess what? When we start making um critical decision aspect of it and start laying ground groundwork for different opinions in the subject. Then people start getting a, uh, a good generalization on why things happen. Because it's just not my opinion that matters. It's everyone's opinions out here that matters when it comes to things of the unknown when it comes to boxing. Because it ain't known that Pauli Maginati got fired because of racism. It is not fucking known. It is not. You know why I say it's not? Because it was a blanket ass statement. It was a blanket ass statement. And guess what? It ain't two sides of the story. See what I'm saying? It was a corporate, corporate America statement. Oh, that nigga took them bigger rigs. It was a corporate America statement. Do you even know what that means? Well, a lot of people don't even know what that means. That means it was carefully fucking put it. So, in my opinion, there's two sides of that motherfucking story. But that's for another video. And that's for another time. But like I said, a lot of people on YouTube, when it comes to boxing, they put out very good work. Very good work. And I uh, applaud a lot of guys. Um, I think a lot of those guys, because I don't want to put no names out there, uh, should keep doing what they're doing. <clears throat> and I think some of the guys should just keep it, you know, not loving boxing. I think a lot of guys should just not keep it loving boxing and and stuff like that because it's not it's not a healthy look. Um. As far as my aspect, not a healthy look. I think I, I, uh, um, everybody can say a lot of these guys on YouTube never been in the ring before. A lot of these guys on YouTube uh, never sparred before or whatever the case may be. Never put on gloves before. But we all just give our opinion when it comes to the sport of boxing. That's all it is. <clears throat> we give our opinion. And some of these guys, they, they want to be the people to be the know-it-all. They want to lay it down to you that, like, <clears throat> that they know more than you when it comes to the sport of boxing. But it ain't about that because most people on YouTube and social media, they're trying to sell you a personality. Right? Straight up personality. 
and it has and that personality has nothing to do with boxing. It has everything to do with aesthetics. You know, logos and shit. You know, how the words slip off the tip of their tongue and stuff like that. Ain't got nothing to do with nothing with boxing. And a lot of people gravitate to them dudes. But that's okay because at the end of the day, you, either as a boxing fan or, or a fan of that channel, you're entertained by something. But it's the substance of that, the substance of that, that gets you fucked up. You know why the substance is that gets you fucked up with that? Because some of those guys out there that I was just talking about with the substance and, and you being entertained, almost not the substance, but you being entertained by the shit that they say. Well, sorry. You being entertained by the way the stuff, the shit that they say slips off the tip of their tongue. Right? So you entertained, right? But then you complain. About not getting the fights that you want. And those same guys. Ain't complaining. About you getting the fights that you want. They more interested in. Love and boxing. A reality TV show that is scripted. That's brought to you by. A bitch ass motherfucker. Is that what you want? You want you want these promoters, you want these managers, you want these fighters, you want these YouTubers, these people on Twitter, these people on Instagram, these fake accounts on social media that's out there over here um, spreading this false-ass propaganda. You really want them to give you the shit that you don't want? Because a lot of motherfuckers agreeing with they shit. We in... 2020 during COVID and we still talking about Dillian White and the WBC. Think about it. We still got people like Manuel Char, Mahmoud or whatever his name is, is the hide and seek fucking champion. He ain't fought a mandatory since when? And no complaints? And he ducked one. I think, I think he ducked one. Right? And you want to talk about... I mean, in 2021, we still talking about Dillian White? Come on. Come on, man. We got we to gotta get better than that. We all know that Dillian White had... See, there's always two sides to the story. If you say Dillian White, 1,000 days, 2,000 days, 300 days, this and the third... You also have to go back and say, who was the mandatory then? And who should he fought then? And if you want to say Deontay Wilder should have fought Dillian White over Louis Kong Ortiz for the second fight, you have to say, who did Dillian White fight during that time? Or did Dillian White Give Deontay Wilder an offer. Did Dillian White try to front the money? Maybe not. See what I'm saying? There's always two sides of the story. It ain't just never one-sided. Yeah, Dillian, yeah, Deontay Wilder could have fought Dillian White at any time of that thing. Maybe possibly if Dillian White would have took the fight. Yeah, Deontay Wilder could have offered him a fight. How about I put it that way? Right? Right? But why would you offer a dude a fight when the dude ain't doing nothing but talking shit, but ain't adding to your fight? And not only that, You trying to better your career. You trying to better your career. You have a mandatory. The mandatory is Dominic Brazil. 
Nobody knows Dillian White in America. People know Dillian White in the UK and maybe some other countries. So the best feasible way for Deontay Wilder to fight Dillian White is either over here or the UK. Right? If it was on Deontay Wilder's accord, right? But how was that supposed to go down when Edward Hearn is involved? Has everybody, anybody ever asked themselves, is Edward Hearn the culprit? Or is it Dillian White? Or is it Anthony Joshua? Like, who's the corporate? Who's the, the real reason why these fights ain't happening? Because guess what? It, the, the, the reason why these fights ain't happening, it might not be Anthony Joshua when it came to Deontay Wilder. It might not be Dillian White when it, when it came to Deontay Wilder. It might not have been that. Because a lot of these cats in boxing, they don't even... Control their own fucking destiny. Somebody said the other day, boxing is the only sport where you pay somebody to work for you. But at the same time, the person that you pay to work for you, you work for them. You paying a promoter to do a job, but you working for the promoter. And sometimes it's a promoter and the manager. Does that make any sense? Nah, I don't think so. No. Don't make any sense, do it. Sounds retarded, don't. Sounds fucking retarded. But a lot of people like they 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 love this boxing. And hip um you know. They want boxing to be some type of fucking reality, fictitious, fictitious, you know, social media platforms where everybody come over here and just say a bunch of bullshit and get away with it. You know, um... I'm just telling you my opinion. I'm nipping that shit in the butt. Straight up. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in in grown men gossiping about what another boxer has to say about each other. Yeah, I probably did in the past and stuff like that, man, but I'm telling you, enough is enough. Enough is enough. What it what I don't give a fuck what Edwin Hearn has to say about another fighter no more. I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna keep it straight up to what I think about fights that's coming up. Um my opinions on sometimes on what other people gotta say because they be just straight up lies. And they are on record on saying that they want to destroy the LDBC. So when I hear them saying lies and shit like that, I got to put my foot down, man. I just got to. <clears throat> because they already laid down the groundwork for that. And some of those guys, well, and, and a lot of those guys should be checked. Because they have, like I said, when they do videos and when they do live streams, they don't say the whole fucking scenario. And anytime I talk to those guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to argue with those guys no more. I'm not going to argue with those guys no more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give them ideas and I'm going to give them reasonings on other things that why it may be because there's always two sides or three sides, four sides, five sides to the motherfucking story. When it comes to boxing, it's too many motherfucking hands in the cookie jar. 
you had people out here really insinuating that it was going to be Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury and people really believed in it, that it was going to happen. You can't tell me that's not proof right there that people got the game fucked up when it comes to the sport of boxing. You can't tell me that. Straight up, you you cannot. If you tell me that based off of that, God willing, my brother, whatever you do in life, God willing, straight up, whatever you do in life, I hope it works out. <laughs> you know, and a lot of you guys, I said that too. I, I, when I say that shit, you guys have decent, successful YouTube channels unlike mine, but you guys are you got flat out fucking wrong, man. But I'm going to get out of here. And I hope you guys out there on YouTube and stuff like that, man. Social media, other social media platforms and stuff like that. Man, um, go out there. You know, when you, your local boxers, man. Your local boxers, man. Go out there and um, find out who they are. Find out who they are. Go see them. Go retweet their shit. Go subscribe to them. You know, Facebook, social media platforms and stuff like that. Support them. Get them known and stuff like that. Whether or not they suck or they good. You know, get behind them dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? They out there. They they really out there to, to fucking entertain you. They out there to get their ass whooped. To get out there and get, and, 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 and get a win. To entertain you, man. Go out there fucking. You know what I'm saying? Give them a fucking like, man. Give these boxes a fucking view. Get these, get these motherfuckers an interview. Go out there and retweet that shit, man. Give them something, man. Talk about this boxing shit. Go out there and find them motherfuckers, man. You know, give them a shout out. You know what I'm saying? I see y'all later, homie.